Cowabunga dudes, if you were a kid growing up in the 90s, you couldn't move two steps without a TMNT ad. They had cartoons, comics, merch, Ninja Turtles almost took over all of the shelves in the toy stores. And even in the grocery store, you had multiple shelves stocked with not just TMNT pizza tie-ins, but a lot more. So, in today's Ed's Retro Geek Out, we're revisiting the nostalgic and often questionable TMNT food tie-ins, whose packaging and wrappers have become rare and obscure collector's pieces for turtle geeks. All of a sudden, you just wake up one day and you find yourself buying empty cookie boxes just for the box art. I upload geeky toy related videos every week, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And now, guys, let's strap in for some food history. If there's any food you think of when mentioning the green mean machine, it's got to be pizza. But apart from the usual partnering deals with Pizza Hut, the turtles had dipped their toes into more culinary masterpieces. The vast amount of food tie-ins that featured the four brothers on the box art only proves that if you slap a turtle on it, it will sell the kids. At any time of the day, you could be eating a turtle-related product in the early 90s. Just imagine it's Saturday morning, a barrage of cartoons hit the TV screen and you got yourself a TMNT TV tray and of course your favorite Ninja Turtles cereal. In this case the usual cereal got renamed to Ninja Nuts and they also added some turtle marshmallows. It was produced by Ralston from 89 up to 95 when they discontinued the cereal. To keep it fresh later editions featured pizza shaped marshmallows and even a pouch of green ooze syrup you could use as dressing for your breakfast. And apart from the color Powerful box art, you also got cut out collector's cards, mini comics inside of the box, and some even came with the famous turtle bowls. In Canada, there was a different kind of cereal, tasting more like Fruit Loops and in the shape of the turtles' heads. The Ninja Turtles cereal also had contests, one of which allowed you to win a complete Ninja Turtles action set at the time, featuring action figures, vehicles like the Blimp, a role-playing set, and plushies. Now the kids that won these contests must have had a bodacious time. Ralston also took the license and popped some color-changing Team and teacups under cookie crisps. The cereal had nothing to do with Team and Tea, but when you saw that turtle cup, smiling back at you in the cereal aisles, you knew you wanted to get that one to take home. Now when it came to snack time, sure you could just stick to the bubble gum that was featured in the trading cards, although the taste would only last a minute. Pez dispensers and other candy containers were plenty available, but you couldn't go wrong with Ninja Turtle cookies, made by the Delicious Company, featuring cookies shaped as the turtles and later their allies and enemies. These also came in a plastic cookie jar, sometimes with removable head and a coin slot which could come in handy for future TMNT collectors as it also could be used as a piggy bank. A big variety of cookies were available in different packaging and later you got an Oreo-like cookie called the TMNT Sandwich Creams added to the mix. Then later you had TMNT Cracks which were basically goldfish crackers shaped as a turtles and shredder and you could pick from two flavors, pizza or cheese. Pizza Crunchbungas stuck with the pizza flavor for their corn snacks. The commercial for these featured the turtles in claymation just like the California raisins. And then the first movie strolled around and as you can see in the first movie the turtles were eating pork rinds. So there's another easy food tie-in. The Rolette's pork rinds got the turtle treatments. Just slap some original TMNT art on there and the chance to own an official Ninja Turtle hat for just five bucks. Now after all that flavor you're gonna need to flush it down with something liquid. Look no further than Ninja Turtle juice. Basically a juice box with a designed turtle for each flavor, but then again it's all the motivation I needed to pick this one out of the bunch. You had Leonardo's Citrus Cooler, Raph's Primo Punch, Mikey's Outrageous Orange, and Donatello's Rad Grape Juice. And of course, you need some quick candy whenever you went to the store. So, Ninja Turtle gummies or slime slurps were found at the registers, and I remember asking my mom, can I have some of these? They were cheap, they were easy to just drop into the basket, and you know, you could walk out and have some cool candy a little bit later for the car ride. They were cheap and they did the job just right. I remember eating a lot of this candy goo. And I don't even think I liked it, it just looked 
cool this candy goo. I would also get the chewing gum with the stickers and if I wanted something healthy, I could go for the bonkers assorted fruit candy. Uh, but now come to think of it, it was more for the stickers as well, obviously. There was also Farley's fruit snacks made with real fruit, but it didn't taste so good. So it didn't last too long on the shelves. They were fat free and chock full of vitamins. Now when you were eight in the 90s, that's not something you were looking for in candy. The most rare snack, however, has got to be the Hostess Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pies. These were supposed to be a temporary promotion starting in February of 91, lasting for 20 weeks. These were green glazed pies with vanilla pudding powder inside. And they came fresh from the sewers to you. And of course, next to the variations of artwork on the wrappers, you could also enter a couple of premiums, like the stickers they promoted for the first wave or the second wave that featured collectible cards. With the release of the second movie, Secret of the Use, a new run of pies was released, including trading cards with pictures from the movies. This time around, they also introduced pudding points on the back, which could be used for mail-away items. Among them were a two-pack of Battle Signal Clickers. These were metal clickers with Leo's face and a Turtle Pies logo on them. The second item was a turtle shell belt buckle, which had a secret compartment. Then you also had a painter style hat, and lastly, but not least, a black Ninja Turtle t-shirt with puffy print design. Now in recent years, some fans have even made attempts to get the Turtle Pies back into production. But first, let's see what's for dinner. At some point, you gotta eat, so what's for dinner? Pizza! Yes, you guessed it right! What originally started out as just a frozen pizza with a turtle on the box would eventually bring the pizza-topping madness of the cartoons to life. McCain also released mini slices, which came with apples as a topping and a green colored crust. Now, I was also able to collect four McCain turtle pins, which were obviously part of the promotion, but so far I haven't found the promotion app that they were linked to. The McCain Kids menu allowed you to order a t-shirt or a turtle backpack if you send in enough Ninja Turtle heads from the packaging. And then you had Chef Boyardee's Tim and Tea Pasta, which created different pasta pieces featuring different posing turtles to represent each one of the brothers, and they came canned in tomato sauce. They also made Turtles Cheese Pasta Dinner, featuring the same pasta. And later, a Shredder pasta piece was added to the pasta and package art, showing the Turtles versus Shredder. And that's when you had the chance to win an exclusive limited edition Super Shredder action figure. Now the word got around that Shredder had been spotted in the Turtles' very own pasta, and it was your job to track him down in every bite you took. And with 20 proofs of purchase, that's a lot of pasta, you could get the special edition of Super Shredder in your mailbox in just eight weeks. What you eventually would get is a Super Shredder with all its accessories in a plastic baggie. Now as the artwork on the promo depicted, the Shredder is indeed the black color variant. So no, it was not a prototype picture that was used or could differ from the finished product. The Super Shredder you could get in toy stores always had the same purple color scheme. And now that we're on the subject of Super Shredder variants, I might as well just add that there is also a European color variant of Super Shredder with a purple armor. And this one is really rare and worth a lot of money. Not to take a test drive. <gasps> mm, this is delicious, Donatello. Now after all that Italian food, we're gonna need some dessert, right? The Royal Gelatine came out with the Ooze Desserts, which was tying in with the second movie. You got three jelly flavors, orange, strawberry, and lime, each featuring a turtle picture from the live action movie on the box. And if you combine four proofs of purchase of the gelatine in combination with a proof of purchase of the VHS tape, you could get an official set of two TMNT gelatine molds. And then lastly, an all-time favorite of mine, I wish these were still around today. And these are the Ninja Turtle Ice Bars, sugary ice popsicles in the shape of Ninja Turtle heads. And with bubblegum eyes, they were green and they came in different flavors depending on the headband. Blueberry for Leo, orange for Mikey, grape for Don, and cherry for Raphael. These same ice bars were even re-released for the new series of the Turtles later in the 2000s, and Culture Fly even came out with an ode to the ice cream in a Nickelodeon licensed vinyl ice cream collectible. Now, I probably missed a bunch of food products that you still fondly remember, so leave your stories down in the comments below. And if you still have some wrappers or packaging left, be sure to upload them to Instagram and tag me at Ed's Retro Geek Out on there. I want to thank 
you guys so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video. So definitely subscribe to the channel, leave a like down below. And if you want to do more, you can always check out my Patreon page. I also post daily on my Instagram and Facebook page. So definitely give me a follow on my socials. So remember to have a totally tubular day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.